We are here at the Norman Primary School where a kidnapping has taken place. Last night, Teddy the teddy bear was taken and a letter was left. The school are waiting for the forensics team to arrive. We will keep you up to date. We are still here at North Monastery covering the story of the kidnapping of the Teddy the Teddy Bear. With me now is the lead detective of the forensics team, Mr. Rivers. What is the first thing the forensics team do on a crime scene? So when we come to the scene, the most important thing to do is to put on protective gear, including gloves and masks, to preserve the area. Then we seal off the area where the crime has taken place. We also request for any available CCTV and a list of people who had access to the area. Have you made any progress in this investigation? We dusted for fingerprints and found two separate sets. These will be compared with the fingerprints from our suspects. We also found a hair sample which was carefully placed in a bag using a tweezer and sent for testing. Forensics will look which is unique to each person. Two of the suspects were found with a pen in their pocket. We have reason to believe one of these could be the pen used to write the ransom note. A forensics team are using chromatography to determine. Chromatography is the separation of a mixture into its composite part. We use luminol spray to check for traces of but thankfully none were found. Update. We are joined now by a member of the forensic team, Mr. Lisbon. Thank you. Indeed, our suspect has been caught. Their hair protein, fingerprints, and pen ink all match. We believe the criminal arrived at this at the scene at 9.12, opened the door, went over to Teddy as he slept. A small struggle ensued, left a note and departed with Teddy. Teddy has been found safe and well. I'm sure we can all agree that sigh of relief that the North Man boys will still receive homework. Thank you very much and that's all we have time for.